Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestrian War. I'm your host, Mr. Vingfi von Katernberg Lover. But at the end of last episode, I asked you whether we should go with uh, a more moderate approach or the more <clears throat> gamer griffin approach in this campaign, in which will set us up to go to either the Avatan und Lehrer Doctrine or the Task at Club. And there's quite a bit of support for both sides. And I do want to do both sides eventually. But for this campaign in particular, there is more support for the task at Claw. So, Edler's right, the Pony Menace must uh, be taken out. So, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. So, let's see. Ooh, more political power like that. Construct the wall. Build everything for the fatherland. Ooh. Wait, uh, mm, war economy in Equestrian War, you do lose some political power, which is not very... This might have been bueno. The Junker Schulen. More daily army XP would be very nice. Land action cost goes down too. And actually, what's that one too? High command cost goes down as well. Settle the frontier. That'd be good to do. Expand the Ost Wall. Ooh, another research slot. Oh, we could really use that. Substantial small science base. All this stuff is super, super important to get. Oh my goodness. Create the Abwehr. Ministerium for Offenlicher Hygiene. Huh. Pony subjects. And the Grand Crusade. Ooh. Uh, we got quite a few comments to go through as well, but I do want to get that daily army XP. That'd be so good. And land doctrine costs. Let's... Oh. Requires... So we don't have to do this one yet. As much as I want to, I don't want to lose that much political power just yet. Oh, but I like that one too. I like all these. I like it so much. It's just so nice. But I, don't, I do want to get this one first. So, construct the Oswald. To even the odds against a pony horde, a series of nested fortifications, redoubts, trenches, and strongholds must be raised on the eastern border. Every natural advantage must be used so that we may hold the line until we are poised to strike eastward. Spare no expenses for the task. As we will make more and more divisions, and the Zintan sharpshooter, the new Stimgreif officer, has been found dead in the woods near Zintan. It's only the latest in ca case in a worrying, growing series of events, just like the others. He's been found peppered by shotgun shells. On his body was found a relief, the signature of the Zintan sharpshooter. The brutal killer known as Zintan sharpshooter is officially a serial killer operating in the Zintan area and attacking innocent civilians. However, he's officially known to have killed more than 46 civilians, soldiers, and knights associated with either the Stimgreifel or the Reformist administration. Report rumors vary as to who could be the killer. Some talk about the attacks being carried out by a team of special agents from the Riverlands. Others speak of a single pony, a massive one wielding two machine guns, and able to take on entire units by himself, but, and perhaps more worrying are the frequent rumors of the attacks being carried out by a single elderly Pozniak, our pony armed with a double barrel rifle. Whatever the truth is, our forces seem incapable of stopping the perpetrator. The greatest army in Griffone, and we can't catch an elderly pony? And then, um, let's reform the Stumgreifer. The Stumgreifer are here to stay, and yet the question arises what their exact role will be within our armed forces. Certainly we could always use more frontline troops, but maybe a support role will be more sensible? Maybe. 1.39 is still not bad. We could try to borrow from Fluino. Also, uh, we are, uh, oh, the Grand Slayer, which is good, bringing in settlers, so if you know about that, again, please go ahead. It, well, that was one of the comments from the last episode, uh, yeah, just bring in more settlers. Bring in, you want to do it because we definitely need the pony power. But the representatives we sent to Fluino has returned and brought us good news. The banking families have accepted our offer to preparing a shipment of money. The interest rate is relatively high, so we must invest the money wisely, although the time for repayment will be a year from now. The appearance of a bright... A common in the sky caused a panic among the griffins of our nations. Some of them believe that the common is an omen of the end of the world, or the penalty for all of our deeds will come soon. Why do I have so many stupid griffins of my nation? A long day in Vetter. As, ooh, we are mobilizing more, which is nice. Stumgreifer, we're trying to build more military factories too. Because, my goodness, we could really use them. And, yeah, we're going to be very offensive in this campaign, probably. Very, very offensive. These guys are 12 combo with, and they have armor's okay, -ish. hardness is okay. We can continue to improve upon them. Construct the Ostfall. Oh, what is left, which is not bad. And what are we missing? Guns? Artillery's not bad. Uh, yeah, nice. Very nice. <clears throat> Griffinheim. Not bad, not bad. Actually, what's the Griffonian Empire doing right now? The Ferdinand Donclaw. It's the dictator, the Lord Protector. We do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm as well. And they're from the Sturmgreif. Which will be a delightful little thing. Uh, like I said, there was a comment saying that we should do, be doing the bring the settlers decision as soon as possible. This is a repeating decision that you really need the manpower gives, which is very, very true. Um, another, uh, let's go with uh, Junker Schule. Or Schulin. Leaders of Hell Queller, modern day knights, skilled in logistics, tactics, and strategy, will first the latest military advancements and more than capable to incorporate them in their own line of duty. Nice. Daily sp special forces attack, capacity multiplier, land doctrine costs, and high command costs, which is not bad, but really doing this for the land doctrine and army XP gain every day. 
It's not very much, but the sooner you get it, the more effect you can get from it. So, uh, military training wouldn't be bad either. Settlers, yes, please. And anything else here? Air superiority. Um, honestly, I'd probably get it, rather get this person. Uh, I would rather get the one that gives us more daily stuff. So I would rather choose that one. And then, of course, we'll choose military theorists there. And this one, not too much else. Education efforts finished. After months of work, we've finally reached even the small settlements in Helquil. With help of our civilian sympathizers, we've taught young Griffs far and wide the basics of how to read, write, count, and also other duties towards the state and the Big Daddy. There's still a great deal of work to be done, but the worst is behind us already. We are receiving encouraging reports from various industrialists in the nation that we will amplify to let the world know the greatest greatness of Helquil. Now, let's see. Changes limited literacy to negligible illiteracy. Nice. I love being a supremacist. Lone, also good. Oh, and let's keep building up some more civvies first, and then some more millies. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. You can ban the other parties too, but I think it'll be okay for now. Um, yeah, uh, let's try to get some tank development. That would probably be good for us. Because we may be going down a certain route. Volunteer, limited conscription is not bad too. Ah, uh, very good. Of course, being done, another comment was. Uh, let's see, if you don't want to do the super superior firepower, you could go for mobile warfare and then Panzer attack. It should combo pretty well if you get the industry to support it. Also, don't forget your special attacks. Griffins can make really darn hard night divisions if you go in all in on them. So, if you want to go for super power special forces, then Volk's Grenadiers and Superior Firepower. The Volk's Grenadiers are right here, which I do like a lot. I like that a lot. Uh, someone says, I don't think you get much out of the general staff primacy, but then I suppose organization is always good, like this one. I like to see the full crazy approach. I wonder if it gets wacky as a director of Yale's possible path, so. Yeah, I mean, I want to go through... Oh, I actually could choose everything, but we can, unfortunately. Roof infantry equipment. 1,009, of course. Uh, let's get closer to that one. Let's get that one. A shum integration into armed forces have proved to be quite a point of contention. Men in the Wehrmacht and among the old knights saw them as nothing more than fanatical political rabble and upstarts. Numerous conflicts and spidey, petty squabbles erupted between the two rival armed forces, notably in the matter of SG's private ventures. Not helping the matter was a shum had never been truly integrated in the Helquillian military doctrine, which only fueled concerns about them simply being the loyal branch of the military. Now there's been wide talks about formally merging the Sturmgreif and the Wehrmacht into a single unified entity, but the question of what precise role should the Sturmgreif play in the unified Wehrmacht, namely an aggressive and direct role at the front line by giving them their own regiments within the army, a more supportive role by stationing their soldiers behind the front line, and a recon battalions are more effectively use as uh, use irre irregular tactics. Both suggestions and sound reasonable, but only one is possible. Which one shall it be? Oh man, I forget which one is is uh, giving their own regiments, assault brigades, more population is nice, and more attacks nice too. But you, ooh, you lose attack. We lose organization. Ooh, more recon would be nice. Well, I honestly don't remember what the Germans did in real life. I can't remember. Given their own regiments, I want that extra population. But I know with this campaign, I'm going to do it twice. So, because we will do the Abwarten und Lau Doctrine eventually. <sighs> Assault Brigades would be nice. Um... You know what? I'm gonna go with this one. Give him a support roll for now. Maybe that's the wrong idea. Maybe we should have maxed out the soft attack. Just attack. So my apologies. I'll, remind me that next time we do the other one, we'll go the other way around. So, oh, twenty collaborators, huh? Look at that. So my bad if we chose the wrong one. I probably did choose the wrong one. Expand the Oswald. Construct the Oswald. Expand it. Frontier would not be bad. Um, truly modern Hellcore. Yeah, we do that one next. Just so we should maybe should do this one earlier, but we do get more research. Slot, which is really important. The days of being little more than a frontier region are past, and now Helco has risen to a nation's developed economically and industrially as a whole, or as others, compared to others, as any other. Those who thought we were merely thugs stand corrected before our achievements, which would be good. Cooperate, we can wait to do that one a little later. Um, I just want to at least get the truly modern Helco because that's super, super important. Ah, good. Lots of infantry. We don't have a lot of manpower, but you know what else is new? Uh, another comment was, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, to clarify, I'd be happy with either a moderate or radical path. Maybe you do moderate for this playthrough, but maybe use a focus autocomplete uh, console command to see the events for the other paths. Yeah, maybe eventually. Uh, someone says, how am I doing? Um, I'm not doing bad. I was going to post a different video to, at the time of this recording, but um, yeah, I'm doing okay. Doing alright. Let's see, let's come over here. Uh, air superiority is probably more important right now than anything else. Let's grab uh, this one, because these ones are not bad. War support would be nice. Division speed's okay. We're definitely going to need uh, Heinrich Hill, Hill Talon. <laughs> oh, Heinrich. Heinrich, Heinrich, Heinrich. But that's alright. Uh, see, someone says, Can you do Kemerova with Prince Yuri as a successor in TNO? Yes, eventually, probably yes. Someone says, Wait, 
Kupsuski and Varina are Lithuanian towns. One of them clarifies more as a village, actually. So where did other towns went? Oh, crap. I don't tell my fellow Lithuanians that Vilnius either was burned down or colonized or renamed. Also, uh, exterminate all ponies because it's a pro-gamer move. Someone says, time for some Griff Griffonian gamer move moments. Someone says, if we were doing this mod and region, try the Longsword Griff King Empire run. I don't know which one that is, but... Okay, so, huh. Griff King, huh? Someone else says, I don't really care if you go mod or radical. And go for Blitzkrieg and General Staff or German World War II style Armed Forces vibe. Yeah, we could try that. Yeah, let's go here. As much as I want to expand the Oswald immediately, so Little Frontiers and eventually uh, might makes right. Let's just be real. Might does make right. The world is a ceaseless battleground for all of life, and through this fight, the strong rise to the top. Fairness and blind trust weaknesses and will leave you prey. Whether it's between nations or individuals, hell quell shall rise above and truly embrace the one true law of the universe. The strong eat the weak. And I'm not going to do this one yet, because I want to wait, maybe. Um... I'm gonna hurt political power. Yeah, I want to get at least this one done first, so then we can just save some army XP. So it, it would be a waste to do it right now. So and this one gives us less stability, but gives us more war support and political power, which would be nice. The Albert will be very good as well. And there's no rush to do what we need to do right here. So that's Republic of New Maryland, huh? Lufty Star, Falcor. I think. Wait, what happened over here? Broadfeld? Huh? All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. Fall of Vetter. Oh, no, Griffon is gone, huh? Whoa, Stalingrad Greg got thick. Oh, geez. At least start working on it for now. It'll be nice, even though we have nothing here. But whatever. <clears throat> Julian Martin Hellquilt, Mike Max right? Another comment was, uh, let's see. Ah, the Supreme Nation, Delarp, in the Pony Mob. Someone says, do Mobile Warfare and tank focuses, please. I haven't seen you do Mobile Warfare in a long time and do the, as the task at Claw Focus. Someone says you could play basic quest at war, or you could take over the world as America, Europe, or USSR. Hmm, not sure what that guy means. Uh, someone says, will you think about doing the free people of Gaul and Red Flood? I don't think Red Flood at the time of this recording is updated. It might be. I haven't played it in a very long time. I'd like to, though. Someone says, go with Edler, the genocide path. Uh, Edler path is crazy. Yes. Hmm, 1936 be like. A moderate approach, someone else says. Someone else says, uh, the gamer option. Uh, someone doesn't like that I read uh, all the lore, but I kind of like reading all the lore, because it gives me more of the story, and I like stories. Um, so, see, someone else, what the F did the algorithm suggest this time? <laughs> someone else says, all I've been watching is gaming, Ukraine, Jordan Peterson, conservative Muslim stuff, and My Little Ponies. Oh, good mixture, I guess, you know. So it says, are they, are, are, are this Nazis? Are this Nazis? Yes, this is a spicy Griffin, Griffonian, or Griffin Empire Path. Very good. But we're basically the Odenstadt bug and at least reformists, or, or reformistin, you know. Someone else says, I post an unhealthy amount of content. Hell, that's so true. I've been playing this game for like three or four years straight now. <laughs> like, when I do stuff, I get very dedicated. But that's pretty much at the time of this recording. All the comments uh, from the last video, which are not bad. And we've got about three more days, two more days left. We're going to start... No, we won't get as much political power, but that's alright. We're going to get 5% more anyways. Pretty nice. Might makes right. You bet it does. Bureaucratic... Do Wait, do we get dark... Bureaucratic Darwinism. Create the Abwehr. Our secret police is insufficient for the tasks that await them. In order to keep an absolute chokehold on those blows and force our daddy's rule, we must reform it so that its powers are as wide-ranging as they need to be in the Arbeiters, Arbeitsslager system. The ponies are a plague on the world, but that does not mean that they are without use. Actively slaughtering them is a waste of resources when we can instead use them to boost our productivity by shifting over tasks suitable for these critters. Kampos' scheme. Demetrius Kampos has never been an overly sentimental griffin, preferring order and clarity to zealotry and fancies. That's why he has not joined Stakos' bug naive attempt to stop being free, but it is also why I cannot condone the path that this insane fool Edler was dragging Helicoil down. He hoped that Wingfried would see some modicum of sense, but it seemed that he was too addicted to Edler's poison. Thusly, if Helicoil was not going to turn into a parody of itself, Kampos had realized he had to do something drastic. To Tartarus, with fanciful last stand, this was about to cut out, cutting out a cancer before it spread further. Thankfully, the the fact that the Sturmgraf were so enamored with their tools, like children caving or carving their names on their favorite toys, provided a clean option. Wingfried's power was already unsteady, with many in high command seeing how he eagerly suckled at Edler's teeth, seemingly heedless of what he was being fed. A knife in the Night, one with a Sturmgraf symbols on it, and an assassin shot dead by one of his sharpshooters would cause it to all collapse. Vingfried would have been killed by the zealots that he had harbored. His name would be in mud, and the Sturmgraf would be ripped out to pieces as the truth came out. He wasn't a sentimental griffin, he was a patriot and a soldier, and he would be darned before he lets these jesters drag Hellquil's name in the mud. His plaza is revealed and is executed. But Vingfried dies, and the Sturmgraf are blamed. Now, that'd be kind of interesting to see what this would end up with. The uh, new regime? Oh man, replace Sturmgraf with Sturmgraf Rebellion. Pony minorities gets worse. Economic turmoil. 
I can't... Loads of new focus tree. I wonder what that type of tree is. But... Dimitri's plot is revealed and, of course, executed. August found dead. Today, August von Otzelberg has been found dead in his room at the Temple of Ire, where he was living in exclusion. No trace or struggle was found. The autopsy mandated directly by the Big Daddy found that he's committed a suicide. Some seditious documents were found in his belongings. They were reported in an archive but were kept out of the public eye. Should any net protest, they could still be held under charges of contact with a known traitor, something easily proven with these documents. In spite of his known popularity in the Order, no request for a ceremony in his honor was introduced in any of the temples in Hulkwell. Now, he'll finally keep his beak shut. The Zelstadtquell. During the weeks that followed the integration of Longsword, Adler von Wingenberg acquired several patches of land in the region of Pansea, or Panasea. Some thought that he planned to add them to his family's estates if not for the strange coming and going of drilling equipment, and eventually he had legislation drafted to allow for the privatization of spring water. Today, he announced that he was launching a new private company, a mineral water company inspired by the success of the Sturmzigaretten company in bringing healthy and quality products to the Griffins of Hellquill. His supporters are already claiming that these Zelstadtquell has medicinal properties, made capable of curing many ailments through the regular consumption. Some believe that he aims to eventually create a monopoly on mineral water in Hellquill. First cigarettes, now mineral water, what's next? Also, we are doing uh, bringing the settlers again, which would be very nice. Might makes right. <clears throat> Disappointment was a bitter pill to swallow, and as Adler uh, stared at the back of the Wingfried's head, he silently stewed at it. Pathetic, weak, and useless. And to think that he had believed that this weakling could have led them to glory, Adler found himself trembling with rage and disgust. It was unacceptable, utterly unacceptable, and he silently w uh, thought that at least he had gotten this inadequate fool to see the truth, even though it would be on his doing. It has been a long time coming, Wingfried says, he looked out of the window, Adler almost snickering at how ironic that statement was. But finally, we're getting there. Helco will be reborn, and your part in it will not be forgotten. No, oh, I'm certain it won't, Adler said. Pulling out his pistol as he walked up behind Wingfried and struck him over the head as hard as he could. Wingfried collapsed to the ground with a choked grunt, slowly trying to push himself up as Adler pushed him down against the floor again. You think you could have led a glorious crusade, you infantile weakling? You, the grip who could not even keep his own journals in line? You absolute maniac, you think you, you'll <clears throat> get away with this? Wingfried asked, unsteadily trying to push him off. Adler only cackled. There it is. You never truly realized what true justice was after all. Might makes right. And the strong eat the weak. And with that, he fired two shots in the back of Wingfried's head, killing him instantly. When the door opened, he had stepped off Wingfried's corpse, standing behind... His desk was Eisen Silberkron. Came in along with two Stimgreif. Uh, it is, is the castle secure? He asked his second command, who smirked. It is mein Führer. El goes to yours. One people, one realm, one leader. Ein Volk, ein Reich, ein Führer. He's an occultist. Ooh, we lose political power. That kind of sucks. Therefore, missing Stimgreif. Wingfried, perhaps next time. Ah. Look at this handsome guy. We lose even more political power. Of course, I already read the other focus as well, but. Oh, hello. Oh, we should be keep going. Ugh. We need to keep going this way, too. I keep forgetting that we have this way to go as well. Full speed ahead. Oh, that'd be so good again. I feel like there's just not enough time for us to get everything done that we really want to get done. University of Hellcrawl, which is not bad. Um, oh. Wait, what? Was this supposed to change? Mandatory party membership. Well, crap, I should have waited. Oh, oh no, he's pulled a tie. P Ooh, purity tests. Uh, Leuchtturm. Okay. That's just. Uh, Abai Lager System. Beast of Labor. Ooh. Ministerium for Offenlichkeit Hygiene. Of course, that one's the same. No place for morality. Develop Science Base. Total Krieg. Waffen SG, Loyal Tests, Berserker Charge, NC. Ah, oh, so we, oh my, it's gonna take even longer to get down here now. Holy crap, okay. I didn't realize it was gonna be, take this long to get down there. At least get more population. Assault, okay, so we actually do get the Assault Brigades. Wait, so do we still have this one? We still have support units, okay. Um, I do like getting the, uh, the extra po political power though. I think we'll probably go down the center route. First, what is this? Completing this focus will allow us to only use either war economy or total mobilization economy law. That's kind of nice, actually. Oh, but develop science base. That will really help our land auction and stuff. Uh, we have to go about, down both ways anyways, so. I don't know if we're going to get less cost, though. Um, daily pickle power would be very nice. Yeah. Mandatory party membership. The state is a party, and the party is a state. Ergo, all those who serve the state must be part of the party. Why wouldn't they join if not for being seditious traitors? We'll make party membership a true part of Helcoolian citizenship, and with it, all shall come privileges. No more freeloaders. I did not realize it's going to take this long to get down here. Actually, where are we at right now? What focus are we doing? Create the obver. 
Uh, how about we cancel that one real quick? And we'll do this one. And then the out there. Rooting out traitors and hot old overs from the old days of only the first step securing a society. Seditious elements lurk in every corner. We need a force capable of fighting them off at every hour of every day. Which are organized the most clever of often SG members. And to a force capable of fighting treasons into the hots of those who didn't know they were traitors yet themselves. And let's do a purity test. I love purity tests. While the scriptures are naturally safe from the curse of magic, the ponies files still find ways to pervert us. While they cannot take from us by the force of their hooves and horns, they destroy by poisoning our spirit and brains. We must call those among us who have been corrupted and reward those who stand true as griffins. The old nungs pull it side for too long, while police forces allo allowed rot and decay to prevail in Helquil because of a lack of will and tools. Order must be achieved through force and decisive action, free from the restraint of sniveling lawyers. Those vows we have instilled into our Stumgraf from a young age, it is time to let them teach the police how things are to be done. And the, uh, we can do this one next. Erleuchtung? Yeah, Erleuchtung. Far from the decadent temples, we members of the Sturmgreif have honed our minds thanks to the teachings of the Ogled Society. It's time that we educate the population into our undeniable truth regarding our origins in the universe. In truth, we were meant to be gods ourselves. So basically we don't get any stability, but get more group population factor and division recovery rate and uh, political power. The SG Verschafts und Verwaltungshauptamt. Even under the Vekfring regime, the Katrinian has allowed meek and mischievous business grifts and intellectual hacks to, ruin our, to run our economy. In truth, they didn't understand or care to learn about how true a griffin economy was to be run. We shall root them out and install our best and brightest to unleash a new era of hell and prosperity through a forced international ability to prosper. And the Abatalak system? We lose a lot of pony power, not population, but pony power. Which is okay. And then we lose some political power too, but whatever. During the Vigfring years, we have seen how useful the use of forced labor from the ponies and traders has been to our industry. However, this has been half measures. Forced labor is the only use that our society has for these parasites. It's time to make this new form of work systematic and widespread. And the Ministerium for Offenlichkeit Hygiene. The ponies in their unnatural ways are as much a threat as they are a mystery to us. We need to dedicate resources to better study them so that we can stop their plots and their tracks and harvest what is rightfully ours from their, ma from their magic. Furthermore, this will allow us to improve our scientific scientificity of our counter sedition activity. No place for morality. The ponies have magic, but we griffins have science, un but our superior intellect has been hampered by those who think that morality trumps the glory of victory. For too long, we let the temples and the breathe beak breaker breathers of the universities dictate what and how things are not to be studied no more. And then Total Creek. The destiny of the Griffins is to wage war. Truly, war is beautiful, the realization of all social things. There is no more fulfilling goal in this world. The industry, nay, the society in which in its entirety must be calibrated for this all encompassing purpose, that which will bring us all that has been robbed from us. In war and victory, we shall find bliss and volume and fulfillment. And we can't go to Ender Seek yet, which really does suck. Because it takes so long to get down here. Holy crud. It takes a long time. And, and I do understand that it takes us a lot of time to set up. But still, man. Still so long. Uh, we're still trying to get a lot of this stuff here. Let's grab some more tanks as well. We do have five Earth Slash now, which is really nice. Uh, I want to do End Seek so badly, though. Uh, uh. But, at least now. Can we just go with this? 80 cost. It used to be 130 or 150, so. Now I feel pretty good about doing this. Not bad. We just got three done. Pretty good. Purify the hair. Our greatest military buildup has been held back for too long by career officers and reluctant fools. We can allow them to remain and deprive us of our true destiny. They will be met with the only natural answer to all obstacles. A bullet! Loyalty tests. Uh, expand the Waffen SG. It's not bad, but loyalty test first. Hell of has been bent the knee before us, but while it's easy to flex that particular muscle, many do so without sincerity. Our best interrogators and scientists will design a test capable of discerning those who are truly loyal from those who would rather see the world enslaved by ponies. And then the bullets shall do the remainder of the questioning and expand them off in SG. For too long, our wing of our forces has been assigned insufficient resources, yet they are the only forces capable of achieving any sort of revolutionary change in this rotten world. We need to recruit massively and aggressively war to cleanse this world. No more credit. Since we've disbanded the Order of Hellquill and disposed of Stackelberg's allies, the creditor gang has proven to be less and less of a nuisance. It seems now that several Stackelberg traditional allies are helping the creditor gang from the inside. Over time, the Geheimdienst Ge began to better understand the gang's modus operandi and successfully thwarted their plans on several occasions. Several members were captured and through rough interrogations, blackmail, and infiltration, the gang's headquarters was finally found, located in an abandoned and overgrown fortress in the forest of the Lone Domain. It was perfectly located to strike in the river cities and fall back. Adler von Wingenberg personally ordered a major strike on the compound, authorizing use of all of our most modern equipment. The attack opened with a nightly artillery strike that went down until dawn when the infantry was ordered to storm what remained in the fortress. Despite their own good equipment and training, that traitors were overwhelmed with brute force. It is finally over. And we're still continually doing bringing new settlers all the time. 
And up next, who shall we grab? Honestly, we're going to go to accept the conscription. We're currently doing loyalty tests, and I'll show you about D.I. Axe. <clears throat> every Griffin soldier is worth six ponies in S any SG-12, but to fight these masses is tiring, we need every Griffin alert, sharp, and battle-ready at all times. And if we can't provide rest and crisis situations, we shall provide the best that science has to offer, the D.I.X. Caffeine Quintens Quintensense Pill. Perhaps that even one day we shall chemically cure ourselves of the need to sleep. The Connection Chamber, Adler, enter the laboratory in a bathing suit, as requested by the doctor. While he cared little for such outfits, he had been assured that it was essential for the procedure. Dr. Wilhelm Grafschatz. Grafschatz. Welcomed him with the utmost respect. He'd been recommended to him by Eisen Silberkron, who had assured him that the good doctor was one of the most promising members of the Ogled society, so... Edler decided to trust him and hear a Graf Schaft, Graf Schaft out. You, you see, the tectite used in the chamber of the stone and mine was indeed a great discovery, but it is limited by the bounds of nature as a scientist. <clears throat> I believe in pushing such boundaries and harvest the quintessential powers that lies in the physical realm, and I believe to have made a breakthrough by refining the chemical elements of the uh, tectite, or tech tight and shaping them into this egg form chamber all forms of pony magic can be suppressed to provide an additional layer of isolation i've added a water solution to nearly fully a submerged user hence the bathing suit but enough theory you must try it out for yourself please graf schaft invited edler to enter the egg-shaped chamber edler was skeptical but still he descended into the water and lied on his back and wings as the good doctor closed the egg over him suddenly absolute silence the only things edler could hear was the gentle ripple of the water and himself he closed his eyes the doctor sat with the sg officials for around 20 minutes graf schaft Looked nervous, but finally a knock came from inside the egg. He rushed to open that connection chamber, from which jumped a shivering Edler. He grabbed them, wetting his lab coat. Doctor, I've seen it. I've sensed it. Ogled. The connection happened. You will have your funding. The world must hear of this. Working around the Big Daddy, administrative work under the rule of Edler von Wingenberg has proved to be a difficult matter. Before the change of leadership, most of the work had been directed by the members of the Knights of Helco sympathetic to Wingfried's ideology and by able figures like Demetrius Kampfhaus. However, Edler has seen fit to surround himself with loyalists and members of his occultist social circles who mostly try to imply for his favor. Meanwhile, the Big Daddy himself has proven himself to be even more erratic than his predecessor. Now, members of the administration and lower-level officials have done their best to prevent most delicate matters from reaching his desk and to pursue policies that are likely to soothe the Fuhrer's mind and ego, of course. Considering that many around Edel are more than willing to issue blame to the underling should pro something provoke the Fuhrer's ire, there is even greater incentive to prevent any incident. Worse, even in lower levels of the administration, many are quick to make contingency plans to shift blame should they ever get at risk, causing widespread distrust that potentially even outright paranoia. As a result, many of our public servants have been under a great deal of stress. Work harder if you want to live. The magic of Griffins. Edler entered Wilhelm Grafschaft's laboratory to find him fiddling around what looked like an artistically carved wooden box. He wondered what the good doctor had found that required his attention and additional funding when Grafschaft noticed him. He saluted his benefactor but quickly turned to his invention. He only gave a quick explanation that he had built on his con connection chamber urged his leader to enter the box where a chair had been placed. Trusting the good doctor, Adler indulged him as he entered. He noticed the layers of what seemed to be sheets of metal and other materials had been added inside the wooden box. He sat as graf shots closed the box, plunging him into the dark. Adler felt a bit strange and confused. He didn't really understand what improvement there was to the connection chamber, perhaps uh, except for no longer needing to put on a bathing suit. I don't feel anything. Grafschatz suddenly shouted out of enthusiasm. Precisely, you are now free of pony magic, and out of that nothingness, everything may emerge. As you begin to free yourself from the polluted world, you shall begin to feel happiness. It is from this harvested happiness, the gift of ire, that you will begin to manifest new abilities, aided by the resonance of this accumulator. In truth, the power was lying within us this whole time. It only needed some help. Grafschatz opened the door of the box, letting Edler emerge. He felt happy like never before, like a whole new world has been revealed to him. Truly, the good doctor would have a place to his side in the history books. It is, of course, still in its infancy. My humble research can only begin to draw a path to recovery the energy that was once ours. It's no surprise after millennia such capacities being extended by magic. But I shouldn't use such a vile term. What do you call this then? asked Adler. Ironic energy! Or ironic? 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 But Jugend Helfs Brigaden. Who was a fool that commanded for soldiers to be trained after their more formative years are done? Skills must be honed from a young age. Don't let the fledgling of, of the farms learn to use shovels and axes as soon as they are ready to carry them. As Sam teach your younger griffins what rifles and bullets are for and how to care for them properly. But I'll be happy for it later. Especially in the state of total war. Um, in the meantime, let's grab some of this. 24 divisions, yet still no conflict, which may, does make me a little sad. But we're still, of course, bringing in more settlers, which just makes me happy. And finally, we can get to Ensig. Please, please, please. More treasure speed's okay. Uh, Last spike consumption is pretty nice. Better recon's nice. Mobilization speed's not bad. Uh, where are we at with this one? Eh, yeah, probably not done yet. So, Ensig. It is time. We've bent this land or will, made its population our weapon. Our destiny is finally fulfilling itself, and our victory waits us, craze for destiny. 
or craves for us. Destroy the pony, sweep the lands, uh, clean and bare, burn the riverlands. Oglad is within a grasp. Ah, good. I should do this, yeah. I think you get two out. Something like that. And led by... Steve Talon the Busher? No, I don't like his attack my, my and defense. Alina Hawkmeister. Yes, pretty good in defense though. Bring in settlers, two more days left. And it's definitely the game is definitely slowing down, especially with the Great War going on right now. So I could send volunteers, but I don't really feel like it. More settlers? What's the population? Uh less than six million, holy crap. The Khanate of Yak Yakistan. Khan Kolektiv. Koltiv, Koltiv. Soon to Serov. National Republican Army, huh? Alright, Strawberry Duchy's still there. Hatchland Erectorate. King of Griffos is doing quite well. These guys act the Diamond Mountain actually wanted to go to war with earlier, but I had to use comments commands to make sure they didn't, so. Kinda sucks. But, oh well. As we're still trying to improve ourselves, like always. Always trying to improve ourselves. There you go, do that. Mm, we are trying to get some tank divisions too. We're only making one at a time because that's all we can afford, but it's 18 combo, which is not terrible. Armor is 53, so we should do okay, even like, without, we have no piercing on here, but using tank should be alright. And we have 72 full Shumgreif. Esotericism. Oh, okay, nice. Very nice. Of course, we have our developed science base, we have outdated industrial sector, negligible illiteracy, negligible poverty, and no other rights, unfortunately. So, nothing else here as well, but, you know, whatever. We're on export focus. We probably go to limit exports, guys. Right now, that's all. Can eh, that's actually not too bad. We just need to import everything we need. I just want to know who we're gonna go to war with first. That's really what I want to know. Who are we gonna blow up first? We got plenty of arty. Um, maybe add two more there. I don't want to really load this by too much, but do that. Two, four. Yeah, let's not lower that at all. Threatens equestria. Oh boy. We don't need any more steel, so we don't need to really do that yet. Keep making more guns. Twenty-three a day is not bad. Take a day is not bad either. Study acquired blueprints? Huh. Well, that's not terrible. Alright. One day's left. 5% less of supply consumption is going to be very nice. And here we go. NC. Finally. I want to see the options for the end of the episode because I spent quite a, long, quite a while on this. So I do want to go over there, but at the same time, we need to come over here too. The hair. No Kriegsmarine yet, so. The hair. One of the branches, and perhaps the most important, owing to our location in Griffonia, is a hell quilsha here, as of now. It is mostly left over from the knightly order. We shall reform it and retool it to become a proper army, one that stands tall and proud. Which sounds like a pretty good thing to me. But who am I? Yeah, I don't want Mitzi. Army drug supplier. Well, Heinrich, of course. Uh, maybe elusive gentle being. Propaganda Seyfried. These ones are okay, like we saw before. This one's not bad. I like this one, though, quite a bit. We'll probably go with that one. You can have some brigade. Nice. Keep building ourselves up. Keep building, 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 building. Hotel Republic. Social Republic of Skynavia. Skynavia. Ah, they're fighting each other too. And Equestria is up by Luna. Celestia, that's right. Changings. Christian of the Ananerba. A new decree has been signed today in order of the, ordering the creation of the Anna Nerva. This new archaeological institution has been personally designed by the Führer Edler von Wingenberg and his closest followers. As well as a search for, acquire, and study archaeological artifacts around the world to prove the existence of Og led to skeptics, the two achievements of the Griffin species in demonstrating its inherent superiority. A particular aspect of the Institute's role is to debunk all theories regarding pony achievements such as the princess's power over the sun, the moon, or the innate magic of unicorns. And also be tasked with exposing alterations made on historical sites by other species and regimes and rectify them to restore the stolen history of the Griffins. To better incentivize historians and archaeologists in a joint institution, funding for the Department of History and Archaeology at the University of Hellquill has been reduced. Huh. We shall uncover many historical treasures. Uh, lose 20 on political power? Well, so be it. We can still borrow from Fluina, but... So we'll spend 50 political power, and after that, when it's done, you lose 100 political power, which isn't really worth it, in my opinion. We're still trying to improve working conditions to get a little bit more stability as well, which would be very nice, but still. And 15 days left. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I don't know. There's not very much here at the beginning, which is kind of kind of sad. I kind of wish there was more. Can we take out, like, these guys? I hope we can take someone out. I want to take someone out. So someone small. And we can get some more, like, more, more daily kind of support. Oh, boy. 
like more core population because that'd be really nice. Holy Griffin army. Submit the temples. Recovering from the madness. Can we take him out? Um, uh, maybe. Definitely maybe. Well, we make what we lack in terms of manpower. Quality, hopefully, is where we're at. We're only minus six tanks, and these guys should be done very soon. We need four tanks left. Maybe three tanks. Yeah. Oh, another division. Nice. Train, train, train. Is that still damaged? Should be damaged. NC, finally. So what do we have here? Habisht? Ooh, release the purple plague. Oh, wow. Uh, the hair. It's not bad. And we want some cast, too. Alright, so what does this even say? Uh, this will lead to war against the entire river coalition. Our best scientists have managed to re revive an ancient deadly virus, the purple plague. Once upon a time, this disease struck fear into the hearts of the ponies in the east and ravaged their homes with its deadly touch. Now we finally build to relieve or relive that spectacle in front of our own eyes by bringing the virus back to life. By injecting the virus into pony prisoners and sending them to the east, there will surely be a staggering body count for these degenerates. The purple plague. Are we ready to go to war with them? That's a massive enemy. I'm not really sure if it's worth going to war with them. I'd rather just go to war with these guys first. Maybe I should have gone to war before. That's my fault, but. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I think I've spent long enough on this episode. I spent like, honestly, probably an hour off screen playing this. Uh, maybe not that much, maybe an extra half hour. Uh, we'll probably do uh, Blitzkrieg though. There's also a new invention that's been making the rounds in the world lately. The armor division has seen great success elsewhere in the world with new models and stories about both an armor spirit and lightning warper should come from all directions. We should adopt this. Um, that's not bad too. I like this one as well. Rapid industrial buildup. Our industrial capacity is inefficient for our needs. And what already exists is woefully outdated and sluggish. Bureaucracy and labor rights will have to be bypassed to drag hell quote to the modern age one machine at a time. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Or we'll probably end up releasing, releasing, releasing the Purple Plague. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.